Antoinette, welcome, my beauties. How are you? I hope you're all well. I hope you had a fantabulous day today. We are back with Resident Evil 4. And trying to do the show we were doing last night. What? Issues right now? Uh, hybrid. Yeah. According to some of the characters in the series, the hybrids were the, like all three species, Zerg, Protoss, and humans. Why, why did I forget that one? Anyway, all three species, according to some of the myths in the series, were uh, from the same creator species. And their most perfect forms are supposed to be them merged as hybrid individuals. You love the and the Do what? I love, I love his whole outfit. I want it. I want it badly. Anyway. Which means I need that thing. Pattern for the pants. Um, but so yeah, the, the events at the end of StarCraft 1, the reason why your human protagonist is no longer working with the, the human government that he helped overthrow. Yeah. It's because the guy that he'd been helping that whole time left Kerrigan for dead in the middle of a shit ton of Zerg. But instead of killing her, they, they tried they tried an experiment. Yeah. And they created the Queen of Blades. <coughs> and then there was a StarCraft 1 DLC that was the Queen of Blades. That dealt entirely with Kerrigan's story arc. Mm -hmm. I watched you play that. But it wasn't until much later that she was able to regain her her smarts, rather her humanity. Well, we saw her do like uh, she like would study the body the bodies that you would bring back from fights and stuff. That's StarCraft Two shit. Yeah. Uh, that is, she's regained some of her humanity. She knows who she is. Yeah, but she's not sure who to be loyal to. Partly because she was left for dead, but partly because she is Zerg now. Poor Kerrigan. So like, I don't I never I never finished all of StarCraft 2, I really need to get into it. But uh there was a uh, some fan theories that she was going along with like she was being ruthless as a Zerg because that's what Zerg respect. So you, if you're gonna lead the Zerg, you have to be ruthless. But there was fan theories going around that she was working with the Zerg to mitigate how much damage they could do. Alright. That's one of the medallions we popped last night, but then died, and we're going to have to go find them all again. I blame you, dear viewer. I blame you. You got us killed last night. Alright, we died fighting fish paste. I remember now, and I stupidly didn't save before we fought Fish Face, so. So that's on you. You guys, you guys. <laughs> should have known better. And you, uh, you should have saved. And because you didn't, now we have to go redo everything up before Fish Face. Aww. Aww? You have to go redo stuff? Yeah, I gotta redo the fight with the fish in the lake. Is that the one that you were getting mad about the other night? No, no, no. I don't remember which one I was getting mad at. Fish in the Lake, my first playthrough, I didn't... God damn it. They didn't hold me back at all. The fish, it's not actually not that difficult a fight. I just hit one too many trees, and my boat broke. Yeah. Eh. Oh, like you wouldn't wear a cow head if you could. I don't remember there being cow heads. I don't either, honestly. They've, had, they've added a lot of stuff. There's entire sections of the game. Oh my that, god, Lee, you got an arm! No shit. <laughs> There's entire sections of the game that weren't in the original that are in the remake. And entire enemies that weren't in the original that are in the remake. Did they still have to use the cigarette? Huh? Did they still have to use the Yeah. But they also, his model, they took away his quote from the model, which I loved. The uh, The models in the bonus thing. Oh, okay. His was... Did you send out those invites? I told you no more than 50 people! 
<laughs> it was dumb and I loved it. And now he doesn't say that anymore, so it's an actual quote from the game. Inventory management. Always the best part of any game, really. Oh, yeah, I'm not to do it I mean, to be fair, there's a certain percentage of the population that does legitimately love dealing with their herbs. It's not, it's not Resident Evil herbs. But. They have so many hand grenades. I should start blowing people up. Yeah, what he said. Hey, dick. You see me shooting you with stuff? But before, before that? Did you, did you see me? Oh, I found another medallion. Hello. This thing needs a scope. Hey, man. Let me do. Oh, Tooper. Look at me being all skillful and shit. El Diablo! Give me all of your shit! I want all of your shit! Yeah, if these guys weren't all so damp. Oh, it's a bump! Then that, that torchy drop might have taken care of all the corpses for us. Nice easy disposal. But they're also very, very moist. Oh, uh, those are called pitas. Okay. Pretty sure I'm reading correctly. No, yeah, that it abbreviates them in most menus and says PTAS. So I call them pitas. <laughs> ah, the bomb again! Because pitas makes me chuckle. My pocket full of pitas! I have this item for you. How many pitas would you like for that item? I will take 100 pitas. Ooh, a hungry boy. I'm all of you. That's all. Are you keeping them dry? Oh, I never said they were dry pitas. Oh, <laughs> God. Let Peter jam. No, no, I just got a mental image of the dude from fucking Hunger Games. There's just like 20 points. Like 100 Peters from the Hunger Games. Just... Indicate which one's over. Don't with the new guy. When the guy hands over a small box of bullets. <laughs> I feel like you're getting ripped off. Shut me up! Sick like you're whining. Did any of you kill a man? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless to me. And a Cadmus. But once you become future man. Well, first future man, and now he's going to be fighting animatronics, so. That dude's got the wildest fucking career trajectory. <laughs> I don't know why I took that egg. I don't think we needed that egg. I did find out recently I can equip the eggs and throw them at people. Mouth fuel! This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. It looks like someone's spilling flour all over this place. To help with all the moisture. Mm -hmm. yeah. What everybody likes is a, a slightly damp pee, but nobody likes an irritated pee <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> I think for your pocket to be full of some pee <laughs> really 
I feel like this is another Josh situation. <laughs> oh, it works on levels! <laughs> I was going with the Josh wine. <laughs> Who doesn't want a little Josh in their mouth? <laughs> Sometimes I think it's a good thing nobody watches my stream. <laughs> Run right into the bomb. I don't, I, I don't want it to think I'm afraid. You don't want the, you don't want the bomb to have too much power, you know. Damn, he's fast. Look at him go. He's gonna find his way up. You don't worry. I think wild that he already knows exactly how to get up. Like I doubt that little fucker that climbed the ladder before. I mean, it's it's their place, like. You know. Still. Yeah. You know, you're about to walk right off the fucking door. I mean, you're wearing sunglasses with this outfit? Yes. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I am judging <laughs> you. You're just jealous of my drip. To be fair, I'm jealous of my own drip. Blah, 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 blah. And don't judge me. That is literally the purpose of this exit. <laughs> what was that from? A good place. Alright. Don't. This doesn't make me look good. So don't judge me. It's literally the entire purpose of this exercise. I'm trying to avoid telling him that I'm not going to be here. Dress bitch! I'm trying to tell him more about the fucking shirt or something. Uh, dress bitch. Ah! What the fuck, Jared? I, I got distracted killing things and forgot it was there. <laughs> like... What? The, the game froze again. <laughs> God damn it. We're never gonna finish this section! The, how long is, um, what's it been out? The... Uh, Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'll be right back. I'm gonna restart the game. It he looks like a staring with silver hair like he's got. He looks like a what? There's a character in Baldur's Gate 3 that people have been sharing a lot on Tumblr because he's a sassy vampire boy who kind of flirts with the protagonist. So, like, yeah. Of course he's gonna be always in a fucking Tumblr site that, you know, shit for once in with itself. You know, like, if, if it's, if it's,